Welcome. This is what is happening on the Sun today, the 7th of April 2012. Our trivia question today is, what product did John Walker first put onto the market in 1827? The Sun has not been very active over the last few days, as you can see from this Skos plot. We've had very few flares, only four C flares in the last week. And this is mainly due to the fact that we've had so few sunspot groups. In fact, at the moment, we only have two numbered sunspot groups on the disk. Regions 1450 and 1452. 1450 does actually seem to be growing steadily, but of course it's going to go over the west limb in a day or two. First of all, let's take a look at the evolution of the sunspot regions over the last week. Here we see the evolution of the sunspots as pictured by the AIA instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory. While there's not much going on there, in contrast, the transition region seems to be very active. If you look carefully, you can see any number of eruptions and uh, jets coming off of the sun. Due to the lack of flaring activity on the sun over the last week, I thought it might be fun to put together a montage of filament eruptions and jets seen in the transition region, and I'm calling it the dance of the sun. First we start with a stately surge off the northwest limb. You can see it looks like an ordinary prominence to start with, but very, very slowly the prominence rises and starts to twist and eventually erupts away from the sun. However, not with a great deal of velocity, so most of it falls back again uh, onto the surface of the sun, probably behind the limb. Next we have a huge prominence on the east limb, uh, which is very faint, so you have to watch this very carefully. Initially there seems to be hardly anything happening, then very slowly this huge prominent rises up. You can see the twisted magnetic fields as it rises. Quite beautiful. Then we have this very intense uh, eruption. Initially you can hardly see anything there. And then all of a sudden you get a small jet growing out of the east limb. And then this very intense bright uh, eruption. Again, a great deal of the material falls back into the surface of the sun, so the velocity wasn't that high. We have a beautiful surge and filament eruption from a region on the disk. The sequence starts with surge. You can see it moving out here to the west. There she goes. Then activity all along that filament that stretches from there back up to the top left hand corner of the picture. That's the dark area. And you can see that the far end of that eventually becomes uh, active. Southwest limb, we have this beautiful arcade of loops that forms over the period of about two days. So we have the full sequence here. As the region rotates over the west limb, you can see this beautiful arcade of loops form and then eventually dissipate. Lastly, we have a colourful montage of several different temperatures at the filament eruption in conjunction with the uh, GOES plot. And then, not least, we have the uh, NOAA um, X-ray image. And you can see here in the Southern Hemisphere we have another triangular coronal hole. And Towards the end there, you can see a series of coronal holes that uh, cross the equator. Well, do we have any CMEs? Here is the last week's worth of CME in six seconds. That's because there's a lot of missing data. The solar wind is pretty quiet at the moment, with relatively low velocity. That is likely to change in the relatively near future because we're not only expecting a bouncing blow from a coronal mass ejection, as you'll see from the, from the Enlil model in a minute, but also a high-speed solar wind stream is expected in the next two to three days. The Earth in these pictures is the little yellow dot, and the Sun is the white dot in the middle. Geospace is relatively quiet. We have the KP index here at quiet levels, shown here in green. Um, and the uh, auroral arc is relatively quiet too. 
The forecast for auroral activity is relatively low, but there is, but there is a possibility that we'll see some aurora close to the Canadian border. A minor proton event started the other day, but it seems to be over by now. You can see a slight increase in the background level there. For the answer to our trivia question, John Walker marketed, no, not whiskey, something he called Congreves. What do you think they are better known as today? The match. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.